the document has not condemned Israel by name. And this has been a deliberate act of moderation on the part of the sponsors. Because if one were to see the situation that is on the ground with Israeli bombs that are there for 20 days against the helpless Palestinian people, with 7,000 men, women and small children, half of them children, killed by Israel in the last 20 days, 17,000 injured, 1.1 million Palestinians displaced. The enormity of the crimes that are being committed by Israel against the Palestinian people are so great and enormous that it is amazing that when my friend from Canada insists on naming the organization Hamas, that he does not feel the need for the equity and balance and fairness for which Canada is so well known. He does not feel the need to name Israel for killing 7,000 Palestinians and injuring 17,000. Only Hamas. Is this balance? He says what needs to be named has to be named. We believe Israel needs to be named if you are fair, if you are equitable, if you are just. You will not blame one side and not the other. And if you were to go back to the issue of who started this, we all know who started this. It is a 50 years of Israeli occupation and the murder and killing of Palestinians with impunity that started this. When you push a people into the corner, they will respond. This is what the Secretary General said. It did not happen in a vacuum. And look at the reaction that, was, that came from the Israeli representative, insulting the Secretary General, calling for his resignation. They can't face the truth. They can't face justice. They can't fa face the fact that the, crime, that the crime has originated with the Israelis. The Israeli occupation is the original sin in this case. It is not what happened on the 7th of October. That is a proximate cause. But the real cause is the occupation of Palestine.